Hey everybody, Chris, Four Directions Bushcraft. Today, I'm making a um, I'm making a uh, survival soap to wash up with. Uh, recently, I did a video about um, uh, five ways to use your campfire charcoal. Um, this is actually, I guess, number six, because <laughs> I'm going to use charcoal, actually, to make this soap as well. Uh, it's basic, uh, real simple to make. Uh, you can use everything out here, obviously, to make it. Um, it's just going to be, uh, some pine needles, uh, some fat. I brought this fat from home. Um, vegetable fat or animal fat obviously if you're out here you're camping for a long period of time you're gonna use the fat from the animals that you take um, and I'm gonna use some campfire charcoal uh, and some water so real simple um, I'll go through the steps one by one with you. Right now I'm just going to dice up some pine needles. I use the new shoots that are coming out. They're full of the resin. They're full of the nutrients, the new growth from the tree. That's where the tree is putting all of its energy. So I'm going to use that. I'm just getting out the bigger chunks right now. We'll probably only need about half this, so we'll use this half somewhere else. So anyway, dice up your pine needles. I'm going to set them aside. I'm going to take my charcoal and I'm going to grind it into a fine powder. You can use a stone for this or the butt of your knife. Actually, I don't even need that much. I'm just going to grind this up into a fine powder. When I add this to my char when I add this charcoal to my water in a minute, it's gonna make a it's gonna make an alkaloid or an alkaline solution. You know you can also use that solution to make your water taste a little better too. If I get some creek water from down here and I boil it up, you know it, it's got that old water taste that fishy decay type taste you can add a little bit of your campfire charcoal to that and make it taste a little better not as much as this you just want to add a pinch you know it'll make it taste a little better because charcoal takes that that odor out cleans it up a little takes some of the toxins out it's amazing how many things you can use charcoal for it actually makes life out here a little bit easier. Just going to heat this fat up on the fire here. Just going to set it next to it. Got it in our muscle there. That'll work. Got our water just a little bit. Um, in fact, I'm going to dump a little bit of that out. Because I want to eventually boil all that away from my soap so the more water i got or the more i'm only going to make a little bit of soap but the more water i got the longer it's going to take to uh boil it out off anyway so i just want to add my charcoal to my water 
and that is going to make an alkaline solution there. So I want to stir it up with a stick. It's probably not strong enough to burn my hands or anything like that, obviously. I mean, I would drink it. I'd put a little bit less in there than that if I was going to drink it. But anyway, stir it up with your with a stick. Take that fat off. Almost got it. That's good enough. So now we're left with that dark dark liquid so that's what you would want to do if you were gonna drink it obviously too if you put that you know if you put a significant amount if your stomach's upset and you're using it as a uh, anti-medic um, you know you could just drink it right down with the little chunks uh, to make your water taste better to take the odor out of it you'd want to filter it out what we want to do is we want to add our fat to our water. I want to add a little more fat than I have water because I want it to, to um, after I boil the water off, I want it to really solidify and make a soap. So I'm just going to add about twice as much fat, I guess. Looks like that. Still got a pretty big chunk. Oh, something in there, okay. Still a little. Okay. All right. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it on the fire and let that water boil out. What we want to do now is add our pine needles. So now we got the water boiling pretty good in there. Get our pine needles in there. Now this is going to take away those pine needles heating up that much is going to take away from the a little bit of the antiseptic properties of them. But you're still going to be left with a little in there. And it's going to be scented like pine too, which is going to be good. So we just got that water boiling away from that fat. And if I have to at this, at this point, I could always add a little bit more fat if I have too much water. But we'll see after that gets to... Uh, after that gets to reducing, we'll see how much fat to water I actually have. I might have to adjust that. But um, it's not going to be obviously like a soap that you buy at the store. It's going to be like a solution, like a, um, you know, like a, um, like a lotion, almost. And uh, as this cools and cools, it'll thicken up. And what you have there is you have the antiseptic of the pine to disinfect. You have the um, odor reducing properties of the charcoal, you have, which is the alkaline solution that we made with the charcoal and water. Uh, you have the moisturizing um, properties of the fat. All right, everybody, well, Looks like our soap's done. And it's been about, oh, 15 minutes of drying. And there it is.
Pretty cool little soap. Got our mussel as a soap dish. Couldn't get any better. So that's disinfectant, uh, odor reducing, and moisturizing all at the same time. And that'll, that'll keep on thickening up too just a little bit. So I just boiled all the water out of there. And exfoliating as well. Those pine needles will help get all the dead skin off of you. So anyway, that's a real quick video on uh, how to make a survival soap. Uh, thanks a lot for your views, all your comments, and as always, your support. And you guys be sure to have fun out there.